Hi everybody, I'm Kelly. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing another episode of The Witcher 3. I've been ready and excited to get in today. Maybe we'll finally meet Dandelion. I'm not really sure. I feel like I've been saying that like the past couple episodes. Like maybe today we're going to find Dandelion and then we end up not finding him. Not really seemingly getting like closer to even finding him. Um, something happened with some explosions down in one of the bathhouse tubs that... Um, kind of projected everything into shambles so we'll see how the rest of today goes with this quest line trying to find dandelion trying to figure out who blew up the bathtub um to steal from the bathhouse although we have a sneaking suspicion that it is dandelion and his group of people um we're gonna do that we're also gonna try to find the sorcerer's treasure today um from the tip that that one guy at the merchant gave us um and we're going to maybe try to find some cat school gear today because we're finally leveling up um, enough to actually have that gear be helpful to us. So that is the plan for today. Like always, we'll see where it ha where we actually get taken, but um, I'm excited. Let's hop in. Could not help Yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an O'Neromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. Hopefully we're getting closer to actually finding him today. Let's see what happens. I know we ended up, yeah, in the bathhouse. So the next part of this Count Reuben's treasure is to go to Margrave Henkel's house. We'll, we will finish whatever this is. Um, talk to Margrave. Go to Margrave Henkel's house. After we go to his house, no matter what happens, we will just stop there and then go visit the sorcerer's. Um, the sorcerer's house. And then go get our cat school gear. Because we're, we're about that level now. I feel like we should um, start to upgrade our armor. Because we're wearing like okay okay gear but it would be nice to have the cat school gear especially since i've been starting to respec oh those are clothes on the floor how do i get out of here everything is so dark in here it says this way oh there's a door okay it could happen Margrave Henkel. It is like 3.20 in the morning. Um, I'm just going to wait an hour. Kind of refill on some stuff. Lay me down with a barrel of beer and a cup in my right hand. And over me coffin sing this cheer. He died a drunk but a gentleman. Aww. First they killed my son. Now they'll throw us out into the street. Oh my gosh. Maybe things are not so green here. <laughs> I was like, wow, this is way better city than the last one we were in. Novigrad. Seems they still we'll have... The fire. They still have their fair share of drunks and people just getting thrown out onto the street. Back there in Lock What's he doing here? Are you talking to me? This looks like his house here. What a dump. <laughs> looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. And a lot of interesting friends. Hmm. The night the Kingfisher Inn proudly invites you to the nightly performances by Priscilla. Guaranteed to tug every heartstring. Oh man, does it. Alright, let's go inside. Oops. All right, we gotta blast it. Footprints. Okay. Let's light some candles. Can I just set them on fire? Okay, that works. <laughs> that works. Oops. 
place is kind of in shambles. Care for your sword, soldier. A soldier can wear a dirty jer jerkin, rank footcloths, and stain greaves. A soldier can walk around unshaven, can stink to high heaven, or even have the mange. But his sword must always shine as if straight from the forge. For in a battle, neat clothing and an eye-pleasing appearance will not save anyone's life. But a sword will. As long as it's well cared for and the man at the dull end knows what he's doing. So how should you care for your blade? Simple. After every battle, wipe all the blood and guts off of it. Take an oil-soaked linen rag and give it a good rub down. If you're fighting in swamplands or in heavy rain, it's worth your while to coat the blade in beeswax. You should sharpen its edges regularly. Use a good whetstone. It's important to take your time in doing this. Each movement, steady and delicate, like you're stroking a vert. <laughs> uh, if the sword develops rust, it means you're slovenly and a lazy oaf. Take some sand in your hand at once and scour the blade until the stains disappear. Take heed, though, not to cut your verge, not to cut your. <laughs> Sorry, I have that like last line still in my head. Not to cut your fingers in the doing, for then you won't be any good to anyone. Okay. Beeswax. I wonder if they actually did that then. Oh, here's another one. Same book. And we've definitely read that one. I think I've read that one twice now. Land of the North, Velen. All right, footsteps go upstairs. This. A letter and a bottle. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Hmm. What's this? The curious cases of virtuous Vega? Can there be such a thing as a virtuous whore? Vega asked herself this question each and every morning. And each morning swore she would prove to the world that practicing the world's oldest profession does not preclude virtue. This determination augmented not only her own troubles, but also those of Gaspar de Brule, her mother's longtime friend who, as a personal flavor, had hired Vega to work in this establishment, the Golden Garter. Poor Gaspar had to listen to the constant complaints of customers who would charge into his office in a huff about Vega's behavior. Yet the girl clung firm to her principles and her ironclad drive to see them through. She would never perform with any lights lit and would avert her gaze when a powerful blush upon catching slight sight of the male member. Gaspard's greatest headache, however, was the fact that the virtuous Vega never ever accepted any payment for her services. Hmm. Doesn't sound very virtuous. It sounds, sounds very suspect. Count Reuben's treasure. Solve the year. Could be dandelions or Ceres. Your birth year. Do we know Ceres' birth year? Where's that bottle of wine? Didn't we just pick it up? Oh, here it is. Can we look at it? Hmm. Okay. Let's light this candle. What's this? What the heck? Um... Okay. Is there anything over here? Wow, that's a lot of wine. Place bottle in slot 1251 vintage. Can I place it in different slots? Twelve forty five to twelve fifty four. Satisfying click in the next room over, I think. <laughs> Satisfying click. 
I need to get a new office chair. I got one so that I could use my green screen and it has like no padding. And <laughs> I'm just, I need to get a new one. Need to replace already. I had just gotten this chair too. I thought it was gonna be so comfy. Secret room. Probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. Mm. Stain. Wyvern oil. Mm, from the bomb. Stain. Wyvern oil. I didn't mean to press that again. We read the wild hunt. We definitely read that one. Letter from Doo Doo. Siri, Manga is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has dandelion. <gasps> you must flee. Oh no. Footsteps. Not good. Footsteps. Is someone here? Hello? Tris. Tris? Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Tris. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Tris? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Tris here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Hmm. Wait, why'd you come here? Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. Yeah. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stop by to see if everything was all right. I feel like he doesn't trust me, especially if he brought along a sorceress. I was concerned about you. I don't know him well enough. I know everyone in the comments was saying, I love Dijkstra. Like Dijkstra's character in the books was really good. And I just don't know him well enough. I don't want to piss him off, but. Bullshit. You don't trust me. I trust you as much as you trust me. Not at all. Believe me, it's a healthy relationship. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So I beg you, can we get to the point? Okay. All sides point to mend. Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard. Caleb Menge. Oh, Menge. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Mm. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. What is up with these guys just like yawning? They must really hate their job. Stop yawning. It's so distracting. Okay, would you be kind enough to tell me what what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Margrave Hengel told me everything. I feel like we should tell him that. If we say it doesn't matter, our relationship is just gonna get worse. We need some some form of like information exchange here. Hengel told me, old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. He's on to us. I know you. You care about results. Um, I mean, technically, he should have the tre the treasure, though. Oh, boy. 
I kind of want to like sympathize or like try to sympathize with him. Know you well enough to know what matters, results. So I lied. Still say I can lead you to your treasure. Forgive me, Geralt, but after what you just pulled, I'd sooner believe a whore who proclaimed her undying love. Would you believe a sorceress who stands to gain if you get your coin back? Perhaps. I'd still prefer the whore, though. Yeah. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Mm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit, ask where he's holding my gold for me. While you sit here twiddling your thumbs? Mm -hmm. So we do your dirty work while you sit around twiddling your thumbs. Darling, when I'm able to make use of someone, I always do. It's convenient. And safe. Come on, admit you're scared of Menga. Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse son. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement overall. I doubt Menge will uh, say anything willingly. Doubt Menge will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. Smart. Um. Wow. I feel like if I say Triss and I, that's all in the past, it's going to hurt her. Her eyes flicked over at us when he said to lovers from the past. And then she kind of like softened her look like, yeah. I'm just going to say you're using us. I feel like I wanted to tell him the truth. I wanted to tell Dijkstra the truth and kind of just like let it out. Because when we had read through the quest log, it did say that Geralt was not good at acting. <laughs> so I feel like that was like exactly how he would have handled it for sure. He would have been like, okay, fine. You caught me. <laughs> I don't know. I really want to read the books. I feel like his personality would just show me so much if I had read the books beforehand, but... Alright, you're using us. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never! Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we... You know. You didn't say either have corrected him yourself true but it's not an easy thing to say is it but we've strayed from our topic got a treasure to recover Triss gotta tell you something Dijkstra's gold it's the last thing I care about thought as much this is about Siri isn't it mm -hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere and Dandelion saw Siri that changes everything listen Meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks. Okay. The Eternal Fire Shrine near the harbor around midnight. Okay. So it's morning time. Let's go take a stroll. Um... I want to actually just loot upstairs real quick. I don't think we finished in that back room. So we can go to the sorcerer's house, um, see what we can find in that kind of like little treasure hunting side quest. And then we'll meet up with Triss after. Another copy of the wild hunt. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and change my quest. I think it was called... 
of Diary and Darkness. Yeah, this one. A Novigrad merchant told Geralt about a mage named Aramis. Aramis. The poor man had, like so many of his colleagues, met a gruesome death on a pyre. With no surviving heirs, his expansive rural residence was now abandoned, and, if the rumors about this eccentric sorcerer were true, inside it awaits a great many curiosities and valuable secrets. We're going on a treasure hunt. Okay. So let's see. Over this way. There's a merchant over here. Is he just like right here? Oh, it's the banker. How can I be of service? Need a loan. I'd like to convert. How's business? Okay. We're not going to worry about that right now. I thought maybe... Oops, sorry. I thought maybe he was going to sell me something. Top -notch swords. All right, real quick, I'm just going to so long. sell some, some stuff to him. Oops. I know we have our Top -notch crossbow. Swords. Show me what you have in stock. Because we exchanged it for a better one. So we'll just sell this one. These boots. Level 15. Okay. I feel like I could sell this just because we have one for 5% experience already. I'm just going to sell it. Hopefully I'm not making a mistake by doing that, but... Um, we already have a couple trophies that give us 5% for non-humans and humans. There's no point in having another one, in my, in my opinion. So long. Okay. So how far away is this guy? This guy's house. Oh wow, it's pretty it's pretty deep down in here. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and go to a fast travel point. So there is a sign up here that we can take. The thinking customer will see right away I've got the best deals this side of the park. I thought that it was gonna be on the outskirts of this town. I didn't realize that he lived kind of in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Well, let's take this one. Actually, we can take this one and then see what this question mark is and then like kind of make our way up that way. We'll take the boat over. Why is there a big burning cart over there? Those bodies? The heck? Why are there burning bodies? Are those like the sick and diseased? What in the world? All right, let me go see what's over here. Oh gosh, that really smells awful. Are they running away from me? Gotta get warmed up a little bit here. I'm not used to combat in this game. <laughs> we kind of fumbled through that a little bit. All right, so there's just some buried treasure over here. Looks like Magdira, 
diagram. Superior dancing star. Nice. A repair kit. Some gold. Some crap boots that we'll probably sell. Another sword to sell. Mm, okay. That's it? All right, so let's take this boat. There was one back over this burning, by this burning pile. Or actually, we can take this one up here. And we'll make our way across the water. Still wonder why there's just like a burning pile of bodies here. I mean, I guess like war and all of that stuff, but it's just wild. I think this is where we accidentally, yeah, this is where we ran into that camp and I accidentally stole something and I had to run away. <laughs> uh, good times. What is this? Blood moss? Okay. Collect. Okay. Over yonder. So we're gonna go up kind of near where that marker is telling me to go. Hopefully in the next episode we can um, go check out Skellige. And see how how it is over there. New area. I know someone in the comments was like, don't stay in Novigrad for too long or something along those lines. <laughs> All right, let's park the boat up here. Oh, the shore is like green here. Looks wild. Oh, belly flop. <laughs> Oopsies, I meant to get roach. I've been playing a lot of Elder Scrolls on Twitch lately, and the keybind for the mount on that is H. <laughs> go, go. There's a deserter over there. What is that one symbol? Hang on. Get off, Roach. Dismount. Let's get out of there. Alright, let's get this archer. Whoops. Alright, he's down. We'll use Axie on this guy. There we go. Dead. Ooh, it's just like a treasure. Okay, nice. Cured leather, runestone, some trousers, enhanced grape shot. Nice. And a Stryborg rune. What happened here? They murdered this poor lady for her stuff. Bunch of heathens. All right, where's Roach? I wonder what trophy I have on Roach right now. Which one do I have? Chance to dismember. Okay. Um, that one's fine. I might choose one. I think we have one that gives us XP, like a bonus XP. I'll have to take a look. I put some in our in my stash. 
I keep meaning to like switch yeah. them out and stuff like that, but they're they're just a little bit too heavy to be carrying with me everywhere. Lots of wolves in these for in this forest. There is something going on over here. Take it easy. Looks like some sort of thugs. And they have someone locked up. Did they see me? I think they saw me. What, do I not have any bows on me? Yeah, I do have bolts. What the heck? Um, wait, that was silver damage. Why can't I use my crossbow? Oh, there we go. Whoa, he scared me. Hello. Oh, we're just punching people now. Let's go. <laughs> Time to end this. Here's another dude. Okay. That's a treasure. This looks like who is that? Looks like Release me. The key is nearby, I'm sure. Okay. Maybe in someone's pants. Yep. You go, sir. Do Usually, you think to help elves in these times. They're like merchants. I'd be not to reward you, Batgirl. Find me in the camp nearby. I shall have something for you. The camp nearby. Okay. He's an elf. What's this? Bandit's notes. They say you can't catch an elf in the woods. Oh, you can, in fact. You just gotta try real hard. We've got living proof in our camp. A Skoytel archer. I thought we'd eliminated all those vermin after the Nilfgaard War, but it seems we missed some. I'd rather hang the long ears right off. Maybe after a couple days of torture, but still. Hanging's what he needs. Thing is, Kola says as long as we have him alive in our camp, the other squirrels won't attack us. Out of fear, we'll kill him before they can stop us. I listened to his advice, and so far I don't regret it. Used to be an arrow to come flying towards your arse every two steps, and now it's dead quiet. That elf stays calm, doesn't eat much, and when you get some vodka in him, he even sings in that language of theirs. Pretty good, too. <sighs> Must be about flowers, sunshine. They love that shite. Wow. <gasps> we never got to read the letter! We never got to we never got to read the letter from uh doo doo i got sidetracked because of the footsteps siri if you're reading these words that means you have solved my riddle for which you have my congratulations it also means that you have not yet been caught and are still in novograd which worries me greatly i do not know exactly what you did on temple isle but menj is furious and will not re rest until he captures you skins you alive and burns you at the stake now that he's got sanctimonious paws on Deeksha's treasure, we can hire enough men to search every home in the city thrice over. I'm a Doppler, so I will be able to hide. But you, you must flee. Oh, Doodoo's a Doppler. Well, you still can. You're Doodoo. P.S. Don't even think about trying to break Dandelion free. It's impossible. But knowing our friend, he'll wriggle his way out somehow. At least I hope he will. PPS, forgive me for not writing how to contact me, but A, you are to flee, remember? And B, Melatile guards those who guard themselves. Is Dudu the one that burned on the stake? There was someone that burned on the stake that I thought that we knew. Mm, okay. 
So Dudu was in on it with them. Very interesting. Does it show us where this town is nearby for the elves? He said it was near. Nearby. You can just kind of like ride around a little bit on Roach. Roach is being attacked by this necker. <laughs> Come on, Roach. Let's get you out of here. trees are so dense, it's hard to see what's in front of me. Oh, I thought I was hearing something, but maybe it's just like the wood and the trees moving. I don't know. Come on, Roach. I wonder what this camp could be nearby. Maybe we'll find it at the top of this hill. Oh, my goodness. I don't see it. What's in that direction? Oh, this is cool. I love how you can see the cities in the distance. I don't see any elf village, though. Hmm. Okay. I wish he would have let us follow him. This looks like maybe it could be the... Yeah, the abandoned manor. What is that noise? That sounds bad. Maybe a storm's just coming? Is that a cat? Why didn't you say anything? Oh. <gasps> Ooh, that can't be good. House is completely destroyed, but the magic circle's intact. Looks to me like a locked portal. Wonder if I can open it using one of Aramis's items. Hmm. Okay. Are those birds or something? It sounds so strange. One of Aramis's items. Okay. There's something here. Wonder what this means. Mage's last journal entry. Hunters have stalked my house for days. I knew they would come eventually, of course. That pungent Limburger's vision was all too clear. But I must risk it and stay a few more days. The Jesus have entered an intensely fascinating stage of maturity, and transporting them is entirely out of the question. I have worked on this recipe for 40 years, and I would rather die than abandon it now. <laughs> for the love of cheese. In the event that I am unable to divine the time and nature of the hunter's attack, I, bequ I bequeath my most valuable treasure to whatever brave adventurer will be able to find it. May this reward inspire him to continue my work and stand on the shoulders of the giants of Tyromancy. Joffrey Munster, Avon Vux Bolin, and last but not least, the Baron of Blue, Eric Stilton. Hmm, okay. Enhanced feline armor. Feline armor. Wait, what was that on the wall? Wonder what 
this means. It just got really dark. It's 12.30 p.m. Why did it just get so dark? Use cat eyes. Oh, this place looks creepy. Stench. Ripe cheese. Ew. Seems was a tyromancer. Oh, it is creepy in here. Look at the statues of cheese. <laughs> this is wild. What the heck? Okay, let's do some fire. Investigate Arama's dungeon. Find a way to pass the Tyromancy rooms. Okay. <coughs> oh gosh. What did he make this cheese out of? Necro milk. Need to be careful. Necro milk. Play this one too. All right. So we need some way to kind of stay out of the. We need to stay out of the fog of the cheese. <laughs> this gross cheese fog. <coughs> Oops. It's like a maze in here. Here's another brazier. There we go. It looks like the room extends that way. So we could go up over here. Okay. This is where I was trying to get to. Oh, this place is a maze. Probably drink more cat eyes. We also have a torch, don't we? Magic lamp. Does magic lamp give off light? Uh -uh, kinda. Not very good light. Ooh, look. Let's get up here. Alright, we'll take another cat potion. Trial of the Jesus. <laughs> okay. Hmm. What is this? Oh. Okay. That was wild. I'm in another cheese trial room, or is this the one that we just came from? No, this is a new. Yeah, that we haven't been in here yet. There's water down there. Oh boy. Okay. Let's drink some cat potion. Does it tell us a map while we're in here? No. We're gonna run out of cat potion soon. So 
the last one. Okay. I'm gonna go this way, because it... Oh, no, no. It's actually pointing this way. Oh, I can stand here. Oh, it led me to a dead end. Maybe I can go under? Yep. some steps over here. Let's get out of this murky water. Why can't I get up on the, on the rocks? Hello? There we go. That was our last cat potion. So let's just go ahead and meditate for a second to get more. Because <laughs> I can't see anything without it. And I don't think we have a torch for some reason. I guess I accidentally sold it. Hmm. Maybe we'll find another one eventually. <laughs> I definitely accidentally sold it. <laughs> okay, let's take this. We could just put it in here for now. We're not really... Mushrooms. Not really fighting anything right now. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Is that a body? Ew. What in the world? <gasps> what is that? Gotta share this discovery with Lambert. Oh no, it's a foglet. Remember them being super annoying. He's a level zero? Oh no, an eight. here I'll wait until that kind of like dies out because it's very distracting <laughs> let's light some braziers this is a creepy creepy lab and why is this body just like hooked up to this crazy cheese machine oh man this place must smell so bad What's this? Oh, just a piece of cheese. Okay. There's something over here. A bull figurine? Aramis's notes. The vision stabilized, and lo and behold, I saw as if through a moonlit haze the four princes, each clad in armor and astride a horse. The first rode a steel, a steed the cover, color of fog, the second of sulfur, the third black as abyss, and the fourth a pony. The first, a steed, the color of fog. The second, of sulfur. The third, black as the abyss. The fourth, a pony. And then I beheld a fountain, a clear spring, but the princes did not drink of it, for it was forbidden. And then a bird of paradise, shining in ruby and gold, flew above them, and alit upon the branch of a tree. The tree had arms numbering a thousand and forty. Draw from the source, said the bird. 
but they pointed to the sun's bloody tears and did not draw. And then a pure virgin appeared, with bared breast exposing her modest bosom, rudy and firm like ripe linden berries. Then my nose became accustomed to the aroma and the vision passed. Tomorrow I shall try to unseal that well-aged sample from Geno Mivort. It is said to have a refined, deep scent, slight nuttiness aftertaste. Well, we shall see. That was all over the place. That entire message was just all over the place. Very strange. All right, what else to investigate here? What's now this? I ought to use it. Okay. I can't see anything. There we go. Some gauntlets, or more gauntlets. Stuff to sell. Torlun diagram, super draconoid oil. Knight's gauntlets, enhanced ogroid oil. Nice. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, it's another, another portal. Okay. Some kind of vault. I should look around. What is that? It looks like a statue of a dog with a man sitting next to it. Magic barrier still active. Gotta find a way to turn it off. Okay. Let's see what we can find. Am I allowed inside of this magic barrier? There's something probably in that chest up there. Oh, look. Something here. Where's that artifact Kira gave me? Good thing we have that. What's this? Did I not? Oh, whoa. It's red now. All right, what's over here? It's also red. Okay, it's deactivated the barrier. Snake figurine. If this sword is as deadly as Aramus's cheeses, it's worth taking. Maybe I'll name it the Emmentaler. The Emmentaler. Why? Hmm. All right, let's look at this blade that we got. Fire damage, Igni sign intensity. It's a steel sword. It's a level 12. It's okay. Our sword now does better damage and has better sign intensity. Um, overall. Hmm. Well, that's okay. Looks like it's worth quite a bit of money. Cool. Okay. That's what we found here. Not really a lot of like treasure. Um, very interesting cheese situation here. <laughs> but that's about it. <laughs> it was okay. Okay, loot. Not the best. That's the not the best loot we've ever found, but that's okay. Fresh air. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> it was probably very smelly in there. Holy. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and just meditate until like noon, afternoon, nighttime. Just to get some of our potions back and Alright, I guess that's it here. All right, find a boat and head to Skellige. So that's the Skellige, Skellige mission. I think there is a fast travel. Yeah, there's a fast travel sign right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this back. 
um, to our next place. How's our bags looking? We have pretty big bags, so I think we'll be fine. We might find a blacksmith along the way to kind of like sell all of our stuff to. But let me see. Let me take a look at the quest line. In his travels, Geralt happened upon the trail of a witcher named Gian. After hearing tale of his witcher's legendary equipment before, Geralt decided to investigate. Visions of mighty armor and sharp weapons glistening before his eyes. All right, let's begin to track this and see where it takes us. Oh, nice. So we can go ahead this way. There's one in the town up here in Novigrad and then over on this aisle. Yeah, I think this will be good because then we'll like be able to do some of our question marks as well in and around the area while also finding the, the cat school gear. Go, go. Onward. Looks like a thunderstorm is starting to roll in. Okay. So I'll just kind of like follow this trail for a little bit. And then we can cut in towards the mountain. It looks like it's either like a mountain or it's a very like heavy tree area. Show me what you've got. Ooh, a bear. <laughs> a bear. <laughs> So yeah, it's just a heavily wooded area. Should probably be careful in here. Take it easy. Oh, what is that? <gasps> That's one of those um those tree people. I remember we fought them once before. New marker? I wonder if we have to kill that thing. Yep, it looks like it. Okay. I can't remember what their name wa was. Was it an Elementa? No. Cursed? It's not like a van- no, it's not a vampire or anything. Leshen? Yeah, it's a Leshen. Okay, so Igni, Relict Oil, and Demeritium Bombs. Leshens dwell in dense primeval woods. Fiercely territorial creatures, they hunt with stealth and cunning as their only companions. I do remember it being very like, I think they can teleport. Leshen's old enough to learn the Appalachian Ancient Weld Advanced Skills. Okay, well, hopefully it's not an ancient Leshen. It's just a normal Leshen. <laughs> but we can use the Demeritium Bombs to fight him. Let's also drink a decoction, too. We could do one for stamina. Oh, that one's during a moonlit night. During cloudy weather? I mean, it is raining, so we could use this one. Increases sign intensity during cloudy weather. Let's use this one. And we already have the Demeritium Bomb. Enhanced one, nice. Okay, we're ready. Where 
Where is he? I don't understand. You don't know where he went. Did I lose him? Oh, he's over there. <gasps> he summoned wolves. Okay. I'm gonna take care of these wolves. Oops, okay. when he disappears. Okay, he's over here. All right. Let's go. That was an odd way to die. <laughs> okay. What are these? They're just mushrooms. Go ahead and just loot all of this and this place gives me the creeps i don't like it here there is some sort of treasure up here maybe oh yeah it's right here nice once we get the cat school gear we're gonna have to start um well i'm gonna start looking more into like runes and stuff like that Right now, what we're running with isn't isn't terrible at all. It's not bad by any means. All right. So let's go ahead and get back on Roach. We'll make our way over to this first area over here. Before we actually head into the area, we should probably meditate. We didn't really use too many potions, but we did use up all of our bombs. Show me what you got. <gasps> Oops! I didn't mean to. Oh, I didn't mean to kill that deer. <laughs> and then Geralt just crap talked him after he killed him. Oh my gosh. Ooh, there's a lot going on up here. Whoa, who's that? Are they guarding the... Hang on, are we near the treasure? I'm just going to run out for a second here. Just so we can meditate. Let me see if we're close by. Do we have to fight those guys? I don't think we have to, but they are close. All right, so they were like over here. I think that guy was like a level 33. I think it might be up here. Okay, so we definitely didn't have to fight those guys. Oh, there's two of them. Est -te -yar. Okay. So it's in here somewhere. What's this? 
dead body. <laughs> All right. There was like that crack over here. I think I need to go. I need to go in there. I need to go down there, don't I? Hmm. Whoa, what's that? What the heck? Professor Sigmund Glogger's notes and a feline silver sword. All right. So the feline is the cat school witcher gear. So it's just called feline. Okay. I was wondering because we found the other feline thing and it counted. I was like, I'm pretty sure feline and cat are very similar. Okay. We found a book too. Let's read that. This one. Professor Sigmund's notes. Excavations to be carried out by Gottfried Oss, Michelle Sabine Rookser, and Marco Gettel under the supervision of Professor Sig Sigismund Glogger. We have begun excavation, excavation work under the Aegis of Oxford Academy and with kind sponsorship from Prince Ardrian of the Sea Cats. Our goal is to find the legendary treasure of King Maglor of Est Tear, Eighth of Blaith, first day of excavations. Oops. I'm deeply worried about the Witcher presence among our company. I had a bad feeling about him at the very start, during the first meeting at Castle da Drahim. Now, as we trek underground, his presence gives me shivers. Are we entirely sure his task is to protect our expedition? Furthermore, Castle Drahim is too close to Oxenfurt for us to not have heard those unsettling rumors about Prince Adrian. 11th of Blade, third of excavations. Kayan demanded we surrender all notes found in the ruins of the elven armory. I refused. 13th of Blade. We pitched camp in a vast and dry cavern in the easterly portion of the complex. There are a few active portals here. I'm afraid they are very likely unstable and unidirectional. 14th of Blade. The Witcher murdered Marco. He was deciphering one of the priceless elven sketches when suddenly... As I watched on aghast, the Witcher slit his throat and grabbed his incumbulant. In, in, canob, in canobulum. I feel like I have a great vocabulary until I read this, <laughs> read things in this Witcher um, s series. I'm just like, sometimes I feel like I've never, I've never seen that word before. In canobulum. I panicked and jumped into one of the portals. It deposited me into a chamber which had no exit. Unless an echo of portal appears, I am stuck here for good. I hope Michelle and Gottfried managed to escape. Remainder of the notes is more difficult to decipher and no dates are indicated. I must conclude the Witcher had from the very start been operating on Prince Adrian's orders. I would not be surprised if there was a toasting in their scheme success, draw him castle at this very moment. Blasted. Perhaps I should have given those elven diagrams to Kayan after all. What good are they to me here if I am to rot in this crypt? I have finished the last drop of my water. There is nothing to eat. No echo from portal has appeared. Gods, I don't believe in you. If you do in fact exist, if you exist, save me. Mm. Well, he is no longer. Look at all of these quest items that I have. Okay, updated. Now we need to search the wreck of the flying stag and also explore passages under the temple aisle. Alright, so let's get back up here. I'm guessing we don't go down here. I don't know what this is. I guess this is the temp this is the uh place that he got stuck in. So let's get out of here. And I think the next one is up north. 
There's a notice board. Okay, so I think we're gonna go do this one. Uh, contracts for Lord of the Wood because it's kind of like on the way a little bit. So we might as well get one contract done while we're kind of like sightseeing right now <laughs> um, on our way to get the rest of this cat school gear. So it says a certain halfling named Breen Hodge had hung a notice stating that he was in need of a professional monster slayer. Gerald decided to see what was the matter. And he is supposedly right over in this town right here um, by Cunny of the Goose. So I'm just gonna make my way over on Roach. And we'll do this contract kind of like on our way up, going back north, back towards uh, Novigrad. Because the rest of the ones for the cat school gear are kind of, on, Roach. they're kind of far. And I mean, we can always fast travel too, but we have so many Witcher contracts that I still have yet to, to do. If I had to guess, next episode will probably be a lot more questy and contracty. We can just have like a Witcher contract day. Because I don't think we have really had that in a while. I've been following this main story quest for a bit now in these past couple episodes. Because I really wanted to meet Driss and I really wanted to figure out what's going on with Siri and Dandelion. Oh, I'm not driving well. So I kind of like put everything on the back burner for a bit, but I think it's important to go. to go through and just kind of like collect some of the stuff that we've been missing out on a little bit here and there. And some of the contracts we, we just might not ever get to also. I think I saw that in this game if you complete everything like completionist um it is like over 100 hours of gameplay which is just crazy it's awesome how much content is in this game with side quests and contracts and stuff that's it roach are we getting close what is this area Looks like war got the better half of that place. Alright, so apparently we're near Karsten. I think we're getting close. Looks like we're still about 300 meters out. Eternal Fire Chapel. <laughs> we'll just ride right on by those peeps. It's very foggy out. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this way. For the next bit of the cat school gear, I think just for like time's sake, we can fast travel, do more fast traveling. Not so fast, Roach. I try not to fast travel so much in games because I feel like it ruins the immersion. <laughs> it is good in this game though that like when you fast travel, time actually passes. Okay, I think our friend is inside. Times. There's Welcome, Green. Master We've actually talked to him before. I saw your notice. Saw the notice. Let's say I'm interested. That's good. Grand even. Name's Breen Hotch. I posted that slip. Gonna need details. Course, course. Well, through a series of regrettable events, I came to own a spread of forest right for logging, near Novigrad. At a distance from any roads, but quite near the port. Easy gold, right? 
Just hire some lumberjacks and count the coin. Men details about the monster, not your business. Oh, it's all linked, see? I took on some dwarven loggers, but they came to me, claiming the forest haunted. Thought them lazy, nothing more. Then one day, they went in the wood, and only one returned. Oh boy. Said some forest devil had attacked them. All right, well, let's do some negotiating. Let's talk about my pay, because the current offer is just not enough. All right, let's do a bonus of... Let's try 333 three, three and see how he likes that. I know I've not offered a fortune, but what you ask is simply too much. Calm down a bit so we can settle this. Okay, let's try 322. Mm, maybe like 315. He was pretty annoyed by that. That's a little bit more than half. Mm, you're not cheap, but I can see you've tried to be reasonable. We might still agree a price. Okay, 300? Oh boy. You're not cheap. But this I might can be. See you've tried to be reasonable. We might still agree a price. This is the. This might be the first time I actually. Oh, look at his annoyance level. What happens if he gets completely annoyed? Two eighty. Very well. Let us say that's a price I'll pay willingly. I wonder what happens if the meter gets full. Do they just not pay you? I'll do. I'll tend to it. I'll take the job. This logger. Where'll I find him? Around. Last I saw him, he was drinking away his pay. Said he had to honor his dead comrades. Hmm. Okay. Find the woodcutter's hut where Hotch is staying. Um. While I'm here, I'm just gonna sell some stuff to the innkeep. Welcome. Welcome. What have you got there? Ooh, he has a card. This card after playing kills the strongest cards on the battlefield. Dang. I'm pretty sure we've talked to this guy before, no? I don't know what this is, but I'm going to buy a couple of them. Okay. So long. Okay. There's also an herbalist ah. out here. Oops, sorry, sir. Let me see if we can craft any new potions. Ooh, we can make an enhanced grape shot. Some moon dust, enhanced moon dust bomb. What? Oh, he's behind the he's behind the curtain. <laughs> Come out from behind your curtain, herbalist. Got anything interesting? <laughs> oh my goodness. Got anything interesting? Oh no, he can't sell to me because he's behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. <laughs> what? Okay, he's he's here now. Got anything interesting? Oh no, he's just broken. <laughs> Farewell. Great. Okay. Well, never mind. 
didn't want to sell it to you anyways. All right, where's this guy? He should be up over here. In this house. Traveler. Lumberjack. Welcome, traveler. Drink with me, you cocksucker. Fucking knock back a few so's my mates are race peaceful. Um. Something plowed them up good. But I don't know what it was. Don't know who or what to cuss. Talk to one Breen Hotch. Told me all about your comrade's death. No liquor. We tried to explain some horror was prowling in the forest. He refused to believe it. Happened to be tracking the monster. He's hired me. Wants me to find the beast that attacked you and your friends. Is that so? Well, I take back what he said. Good man, Breen. Though a halfling. Tell me about the attack. What do you remember? <sighs> we were making our way out of the forest. Loaded with wood like pack horses. All of a sudden we heard a bloody howl. Like a wolf's. Pack leaders. We legged it, but then the cartwheel was stuck. Magnus Rector hollered they should run to the hut for the crossbows. So I ran. Come back to the woods. Bloody plow and massacre. You couldn't tell me mates apart. Thanks. Really helpful, that. Kill the bugger. Will you? That was okay. Mm. Don't All right. Oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> I need to get out of this town. I need to. We need to just go. We can't be here anymore. <laughs> All right, so he's all the way up over here. So let's go ahead and go there. Roach, what are you doing going for a swim at a time like this? Okay, so we're just going to the woodcutter's how hut where Hosh is staying. Why? I guess we're still gonna try and ask some people about what maybe happened. Oh, that's a lot of people over there. Come on. Nope, can't go that way. I think we're just kind of like cutting through this town. Let me take a look at the map real quick. Okay. So we're just kind of like on the shore here. I don't think I've gone this far west. Oops, sorry, little kid. Port side gate. Okay. Kitty cat. Kitty cats. <laughs> There's like three out there. <clears throat> Look at that guy rowing his boat over there. Yeah, we definitely haven't been this far over from the city. This must be it here. Slow now. Whoa. Logger's hut. Okay. Logger's hut. Need to find the spot where they died. Oh, this is where they got. Okay. I was confused. I thought that we were going back to his house for some reason, but this is actually like the area, the land that he bought so that they could cut the wood. Okay. Why can't I examine these tracks? Oh, there we Eight go. Ruts. Logger's wagon must have stopped here. Then they went down this road, probably towards their clearing. Okay. Oh, the wagon. What about what's inside? I'm going to take all your stuff from your house because you didn't pay me adequate money. <laughs> 
you dipped me like 50k 50 coin okay keeps going this way over this way there's a lot of like wolves or something up here or no they sound like drowners Investigate the site of the monster's attack. Whoa. There was a fight here. Two dwarves and something big. Yeah, something really big. There was a fight here. Two dwarves and something big. Okay. Footsteps? A dwarf went this way. one to the ground so hardy suffocated what is it like a lesion or something roots ew look at that stew oh looks like they put a whole lobster in there or a crab or something <laughs> crab soup anyone okay so let's see what we find over here I don't know if we're still supposed to be following some sort of trail. Oh, look, there's something in here. What is this? Wounded dwarf tried to flee, bleeding heavily. He is the wounded dwarf, the one that we saw over. Oh, there's another one. Deep wound on his back. Bled to death. Okay. So where did these footprints go? Why are there only two? Claude the Rock must have been angry and strong. Everything says Leshen, the young one, must have arrived here recently. Need to find its totem. Crows serve Leshens. Should find some near the totem. Crows serve Leshens. Okay. So le Leshens we know don't like by Igni um, and the Demeritium bomb. So we already have those on us, which is good. Here's the crows. Not a Leshen's birds. False trail. Okay. So there's more crows over here. looks like no sign of a totem okay there's more over here I didn't know that lessons had totems I wonder what that is I guess I'm about to see well that looks promising Check this one over here first. Look, there it is. Isn't that a overwhelmed a Leshen's totem? Now to destroy it. Ought to piss it off, make it leave its lair. Hmm. Okay. Can I like bomb it or something? Or like burn it? so scary.
Alright, here we go. That was way off. He like went into my bomb. That was weird. I guess fortunate for us. I think we... I don't know why my bombs keep going farther than I want them to. Well, we're out of bombs now, but he's about at half health. Okay, we're gonna die. I need to, uh... I need to watch myself here. We could... get something to eat real quick, because we're probably gonna need it. All right, I hate opening up my inventory mid-fight because I feel like it ruins my immersion, but we really need help here. Let's go ahead and go for this one. Okay, is there more? over there. Ooh, watch out. Okay, he's getting weaker. running away from me. Alright, need to be careful. Let's take a swallow. We might use another one of those other potions as well. Because I don't want to die. Ooh, watch out! Okay, let's take another one of these. Our toxicity is kind of high. Um... We could take one of these, but I don't want to get rid of my vitality. Yeah, we'll just... Hmm. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and take another one of those. Should be fine. Our toxicity is just very high now. He's almost dead. All right, messy fight, but we made it. <laughs> we made it. Ooh, black unicorn. And we got a Leshen trophy now. Nice. I'm excited to see what that does. Let's take a look. Chance to dismember. Okay. So we already... Oh, we already have a Leshen Trophy. What is this one? 10% chance. 5% chance. Okay. We can upgrade it. Do you guys keep your old trophies? If they're... So, like, for example, I have one now that's a 5% chance to dismember, but now I have this one that's 10% chance to dismember. Do you keep the one that's better? 
Or if you get duplicates, do you sell one? I feel like they're worth quite a bit of coin. All right, let's go ahead and meditate because we need help. That was a very messy fight, but it was fun. <laughs> I realized way too late into it that I was not using Igni. But in the same note, we're getting the right, we're on the path to getting the right gear. <laughs> um, because I know that the cat school gear um, is really good for potions. And I obviously really enjoy taking potions and trying to use decoctions and stuff like that. So I think we're picking the right gear to go after for sure. All right, let's go back to Breen and get our, re get our money and head over here use the fast travel. That was fun. That was a fun side quest. The lessons are very scary. that area. Did we already loot this area? Looks like there's not really much here. Okay. We go back to Breen and then we'll head up. I think that our next area for the cat school gear is actually like up there. So we can go head up north, get the rest of this gear. Sorry. Oh. Excuse me. After you, sir. After you. Oh, you don't want to go in there now? Okay. <laughs> Welcome, Master Witcher. Job's done. I killed the Leshen that attacked the Lumberjacks. Oh, that's wonderful. Grand even. I'll have to find some new loggers, but there's no shortage of folk looking for work. But can I be certain no other Leshen will show? It's possible, I suppose. I have to find a Witcher if it happens. Aye, yes, yes. Well, your due reward. I'm not the kind not to pay for a job well done. Farewell. Okay. Well, you got some extra coin. Completed a contract. Let's go. We'll have to have just like a contract day where we go around, collect the bulletins, do contracts, <laughs> make money. All right. I'm going to take the fast travel over to the north. So let's see. It's under treasure hunt, I think. Maybe we can talk to the herbalist now. What? Got anything interesting? Nope. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. <Farewell. laughs> Dang. He was like standing before, so maybe, I don't know. Maybe a, I have oh. to restart my game or something. All right, so St. Gregory's Bridge, and then we'll go up north from here. Looks like there's also a question mark over here too that we haven't checked out yet. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> it's busy for a rainy... A busy rainy night. <laughs> rain, I like rain. 
I'm just bumping into everybody right now. I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, pick this nice little alcove. Actually, we can go out here. We're just gonna rest by this fire real quick <laughs> until, let's say, 4 a.m. Maybe it'll give it a chance to clear up a bit. Nope, still raining, still thundering, still dark. <laughs> Okay, I think, let me look at the map. We're still kind of far away, but are we supposed to go down this path maybe? Witch Hunter. Oh, I wish it wasn't raining. It's probably beautiful here. Not that thunderstorms aren't amazing, but it would probably just look really pretty if it was sunny and the sun was starting to come out because the sun the sun is rising we just can't see it because it's rainy it wants to come out oh no a dead end okay let's go back up this way those birds am I supposed to get over there hang on no 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 it's just pinpointing okay I need to make sure I'm following the right marker because I don't think I have been Lots of witch hunters over here. Whoa. Okay, so the area is below us that we need to get to. So let's see if we can find a path that leads down. That doesn't involve yeeting ourselves. Oh, okay, we're yeeting. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe this is the way. Oh, this is not the way. <laughs> Was not the way. Oh, unfortunate. It was so slippery from all the rain. <laughs> oh, what a sad way to go. That was terrible. We cannot go that way. I think there has to be a path of some sort that I missed. Oh no, it started us all the way. Oh man. Okay. All right. Let's, instead of going like down and around these outskirts, maybe we can just... Or actually, there looks like there's like a little path down here. Barrel to Rivia. Try again. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna try to like follow a main path this time. I veered off to the left there because I was following that marker to the left. But can we go inside here? No, it's locked. We'll just try to stay on the main path now. Square. Hmm. Oh, there's like an alchemist of some sort over here. Eternal fire priest. Do you wish the eternal fire's blessing upon you and your household? Come, true believer. 
May its light shine. Watch it or you'll see the shine of my sword. And back off. That incense is making me nauseous. You might have said so right away. Countersign and fish soup gives the deacon's auntie a headache. What do you need? Before you ask, I'm all out of hemorrhoid cream. What are you talking about? Your incense that bad for the brain? What do you mean? You gave the password signaling you wish to buy some herbs. I don't know any password. Uh -uh. This subterfuge, what's it about? You're about as much a priest of the eternal fire as I am a vestal virgin. What sort of conspiracy is this? Conspiracy? Dare. Folks see conspiracies everywhere. I sell harmless things. Get in turbulent times like these. Think it's safer to don priest's robes? See, thing is, in this town, impersonating a priest is likely grounds for punishment. Cruel and unusual, I'd wager. Yeah. I impersonate no one. I am a priest. Though I am also an alchemist. Sadly, it's become difficult to reconcile the two. Uh, will you report me? Or shall we make a deal? Trying to bribe me? Save your coin. I'm not fond of priests. In fact, you'd have to pay me to talk to them. Then I shall sell you my wares for less. Cast your eyes. See if there's aught you could use. Provided, of course, you do not seek hemorrhoid cream. Yeah. All right. Show me what you have in stock. A priest and an alchemist, of course. The cult of Freya. Hmm, I wonder if we'll find that eventually. <gasps> 1,600 coin for this runestone? Holy schmoles. These are expensive. Once we find the cat school gear, we're going to have to figure out how to... I'm going to do some research on upgrading our runestones and our glyphs and putting the right ones in. All right. He doesn't have anything too exciting. I think I might sell him this Leshen trophy, though. I feel like I should dismantle this. All right, nothing I really want to sell him. I feel like the alchemist powder could come in handy though, but don't we already... Oh yeah, yeah, we already have a lot of that actually. Same with this lesser glyph. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that off of him. Cause I know that you use the lesser glyphs to make glyphs and upgrade them, I believe. Salt Peter, alchemy paste. Okay. Take care. What an interesting fellow. Alright, so we have to get down there safely somehow. And I'm not quite sure how to do that. Um, there has to be like a path down that way. Or do we have to take a boat and maybe go up on the shore? Hmm, questions, questions. What's this? We're back in Elector Square. Okay. Oh, this is like that. Okay. So let me take a look at the map. Maybe. Let's head down to this question mark since we're already here. And maybe there'll be a way to get down there this way. Oh, it's a place of power. Medallion's humming. Oh my goodness. All right. So let me look at my map and see where we are. I'm gonna try to just like follow around because maybe this is where I'm supposed to be. Am I on that path? Like, maybe if I keep following that path. Wait. 
down, like down this way. I'm not sure. Ooh, this seems promising. <gasps> A dead body. Do we have cat eyes on us? Let's go ahead and do that. And put cat potion on here. An illusion. An illusion. Mm. Okay. Oh boy. There's something in here. Oh, what is that? Is that one of those like rock monsters? The, um, Elementa, like a golem, Elementa and Demiratium. It's either that one or this one and they both don't like Demiratium. Glenn. Okay, none of them like Demiratium. Yeah, it's a golem. Give him a second. Man, there's no like dodging this. All right, there we go. Whew. Definitely thought we were goners there for a second. Goodness. is in here mushrooms there's a door locked key required all right i think it kind of like branched out over here didn't it yeah like we could go this way maybe the keys over here To the depths to be lifted up. Look to the depths to be lifted up. Hmm. Okay. Look to the. Oh, look. Look to the depths. Ah. Okay, so probably the whole research notes. As per the instructions of our supervisor, Ernius Var Steingard, we have conducted a series of studies on the genotype of the creatures commonly known as drowners. Sadly, administering a poison made of fugu fish induced a coma in all the specimens in the study. After 24 hours, the vital functions of the all above mentioned specimens ceased, prohibiting us from continuing with the study. Interesting. All right, he's already facing. Hello? Giving me no choice. That was a uh, that was a baby wreath. <laughs> okay, let's 
go ahead and turn that one. Oh, I missed. There we go. Mysterious recipe. Dear Pascal and Timo, I've got a bit of time between these treatments. I've ministered to these stinking drowners. So as promised, I'm writing you to the for the recipe of my famous spiced chicken and pumpkin stew. Pumpkin, chicken thighs, or chicken breast. Mix of exotic spices. Milk of cocoa nucifera. Hard to get, but there's a ship from the Openberg of Sons Import Company that arrives in Novigrad port first Wednesday of every month. And those guys sell everything, striped horse included. Zebra? Remainder of the list is illegible. I'm sure you'll figure out the process on your own. Good luck. P.S. You owe me now. Okay. Are those the city bells chiming? They're getting louder. All right, last one, I think. That sounds bad. Hmm. Strange. All right. Well, I don't want to use that. Hang on. No, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I wanted to use my crossbow. I can't see anything. Am I supposed to go down there? I don't know. For some reason, everyone was saying that I could one-shot drowners. I have yet to be able to, to do that. I mean, I get a few shots on them, but I don't ever one shot a drowner with my crossbow. Maybe it has to be like a better crossbow. Look, I'm like barely doing any damage to these guys. I have a feeling I'm going to have to go down there. What happened to the third one? Oh, he's still there. All right, I have to go in there, don't I? This is unfortunate. Laboratory key. Found it. All right, let's get out of here. Just go back up this way. Yeah, this is where the door was. Okay. And now we have the laboratory key. Look at those lights up there. They look kind of gross, but they're also really cool. <laughs> we need to find another torch. Whoops. Mushrooms. Apparently, I sold all of my torches <laughs> for whatever reason, and we need we need another torch. I don't know where to find them. Oh, it was a torch on the floor. Okay. 
Oh, who's that? Is that a statue or is that actually somebody here? No good, no evil. Okay, no. Mad Kyan? Okay, good. I'm still alive. <laughs> what in the world? Feline trousers, gauntlets, boots, and armor. Let's go. We got all of those just from this one. So we only have one more left. Nice. Laboratory notebook. Day one. Luckily, the teleport deposited us directly in my laboratory. It's good to be home. I had grown sick to the gills of that leaky tub. I hope that storm I summoned smashed it into those craggy rocks off the grassy knoll shore. The experiments which my students conducted on drowners in my absence did not yield the expected results. As usual, I must do everything myself. I will administer a brew of medicinal opium to the subject. This milk of the poppy will keep the witcher in a state of half consciousness and thus incapable of any resistance commencing studies. Note, I must hold off on my planned experiments while I clear up the demolished portion of my laboratory. I have set the bones in the forearm of one of my assistants. I will now administer a quadruple dose of milk of the poppy to the witcher. Holy schmoles. Subjects show incredible resistance to physical torture. Only broke after the second day of intense labor. Moderately satisfactory results from the interrogation. Garnered information about witcher trading and the cat school of witchers in general. As I suspected, the cat school witchers are the most part are for the most part of elven stock. This school must have some tie to the elder races. Addendum. Perhaps its founder was a member of the Ain Sayid. Subject unfit for further study, I have discontinued his dose of poppy. Isn't milk of the poppy like Kind of comparable to like meth or something. I feel like milk milk of the poppy was like similar to one of those for pain back then. Administered extract of cowbane and hemlock. In typical representatives of the human and Ain Said species, such a mixture provokes paralysis of the peripheral nervous system and eventually of the nerve endings as well. This results in muscular, skeletal, pulmonary, and cardiac paralysis and ultimately death through suffocation. The Witcher is not, however, a typical representative of any species. Though the poison did seem to cause some mild irritation in his nervous system, his mutated body quickly managed to neutralize the harmful alkaloids. In a matter of hours, all symptoms of the poison I administered had vanished. Day 16, stinging him with the sea wasp toxin did not provoke any expected results. In order to strengthen the toxin's effects, I had poured ethyl alcohol into his wounds. His nervous system seems to be immune. Holy crap. This poor guy went through so much. Day 26, the subject has been tortured, poisoned, burnt, frozen, starved, and dehydrated. And despite it all, his body continues to function. He eats and drinks by himself, moves about his cell on his own, and is unable and is able to articulate simple words please drink don't hurt stop conclusion as i suspected the witcher is a superb anagrament a demon trapped in such an excellently paired body will become death incarnate vengeful wrath made flesh and placed at my command no one has succeeded in creating a being of such power since the times of malspin and alzer this is a great day for science. Time to begin the incantations. Poor guy. Dang. He went through some stuff. At least he can rest in peace now. Kind of. It's crazy. 
at his body still like glowing. It's terrible. I think we read this one about Oxenvert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely read this one about Oxenvert. I think we found it when we were actually in Oxenvert. This one's about the elven, so yeah, we read this one too. Okay. Wait, did I take that stuff? Okay. Cow's milk, goat's milk. Gnomish prankings? I don't think we've read this one. Scrub the greasings from... Oh no, we have read that one too. <laughs> Here's another copy. We read that one. Portrayal, portrayal of the eldest race... El Elder races. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. <laughs> Too much reading. Okay, something over here that we missed. Superior cursed oil. Nice. Dwarven spirit. Nice. Lots of Alkahest. Very nice. I think we were running kind of low on Alkahest, I think. All right. Well, that was a good find. We have one more place to go before we have all of the Witcher gear. Because we have six out of seven. That was a lot that we just got from that one. That one area. What's this? Oops, wrong one. Is this where we came in? No, I don't remember this. over here. Invoice for a golem? Goods purchase. Guardian golem. Warranty. In the event of damage to the ceramic, please report immediately to the nearest branch of Judalo. The golem can only be serviced by qualified company personnel. Hmm. Okay. Apparently very <gasps> Oh, it's a wraith. Okay. Not that scary. <laughs> Sounded much scarier than I thought it was gonna be. Actually, let's loot it. Use the mutagens. Okay, nice. We definitely didn't come in this way. Which way? We came in this way. Okay. Through here. to say oh no <laughs> can't get back up okay let's go ahead and go to the fast travel sign i think there was one in this area right by elector square and travel oh never mind we can't Ooh, okay let's go back down and get our boat then and our boat can take us over to the last one 
We just hit level 17 too, looks like. Nice. Perfect time to make our make our cat school gear. All right, so let's go back down to our dinghy. Back down here. At least it's a nice, clear day now. No more rain or thunder, lightning, making us not see fall off cliffs. Okay, it's in great condition. We're pretty much just gonna like follow. Follow the path to get over to that next wreckage. And this will be the wreck of the flying stag. Is that a little kid? Oh, he's like bopping up and down. Aw. Playing in the bay, whatever this is, bay, ocean. He's throwing rocks. <laughs> All right, let me take a look at the map. Yeah, we got quite a bit of a sail. Um, and there's also two question marks over here, so that's pretty cool. I'll see you guys when we get over there. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we might be maybe pulling up on it. This looks like a wreckage. Okay, and there's something under the water here, I think. These barrels, maybe? Oh, look. Oh, okay. What are those? Okay. Did it loot all of- oh no. Okay. I don't think I looted this one yet. Okay. It's acting weird. Um, okay, let's bring our boat over there so that we can leave from there instead of having to swim back over this way. There was also another question mark by the aisle. So let's park this over here. Can we get up here? Oh, there's like a little... Oh! Oh no! Oh! Oh! Uh oh! Our boat might not make it back. Oh, this is a creepy looking wreckage. Look at the weird like skeletons on the side. Ew! Blah blah. Alright, let's go see what's on this island first. There's some sort of... Maybe treasure. Yeah, there's treasure over here somewhere. Uh, that stench. Mutagens. Some nice mutagens. Oh man, he killed a lot of horses. Oh, and some cows. 
And some poor guy. Goodness. We got a lot of loot from being out and about doing all this. We're going to have to look through all the loot that I got. There's a lot of, like, different things to craft and... All right. So let's go see what's going on with this weird boat over here. See what's up here first. Nothing. All right, we have to go back. Oh yeah, here's a chest here. All right. Mage's notes and the feline crossbow. Huh. Nice. There's a crossbow that goes with it. Was there a crossbow that went with the Griffin one too? Cayenne has enlisted with the flying stag as a guard of sorts. A hefty sack of Novigrad crowns convinced the captain to lodge me in his cabin. All is going according to plan. I'm actually finding this expedition amusing. I'm glad I didn't contract the kidnapping out to be some bulgy armed halfwit. I'll do it more gracefully myself. He's cautious. I won't be able to put him down with a casually placed poison apple. Guess I'll have to zonk him out with a spell and whisk him away via teleport. I just hope it won't plop us down somewhere in the middle of Temple Isle instead of in my quarters below it. The power pulsating from my laboratory tends to throw off a good portion of my attempts to teleport home. Very high level resistant to psionic spells. Time need to be full penetration of his nervous system. A half hour at least. A few more moments and the Witcher will be ready for transport. Now I just need to wipe our tracks. Perhaps a little change in the weather? While waiting for some more favorable atmospheric conditions, I looked through the things. His things. Some very intriguing documents. A map of Estair. Crafting diagrams of Elven Province. Margin note. Highly interesting sketch for a one-handed crossbow. Most likely to use to hunt drachnoids. Must ask him something during the interrogation. Confirms my theory, theory that the Witchers of the Cot School use Elven weapons. And wait for it, Professor Sigmundson's glogger's notes. It's clear the Witcher had something to do with the famous professor's disappearance. I think I might have overdone it a bit with those come home beans. No point in tarrying. Time to evacuate. All right, we got the last bit of the cat school gear. I wonder what. I wonder what level the one is for the upgrades. I don't think it's anytime soon for us. We are level 17. The Griffin school gear would be an upgrade at this this one this time for us. But it looks like scat cat blah blah blah. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. I'm like mumbling all over my words today. I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> um yeah, it looks like it's level 23. So we have this for a little bit. Um, until we do start to look for the upgrades, but we definitely don't need them now. So let's go see who can craft these for us because we have everything now, which is very exciting. Very exciting. Level 29. Feline armor. Ooh, it looks nice too. It doesn't look bad. The griffin armor has been okay. Are we about to see Geralt's arms in this? <laughs> Dark steel plate. Okay. Dark steel plate. Dark steel ingot, which we can make. Okay, nice. We definitely have enough to make at least the chest today. So let's go ahead and travel over to the Baron's guy, because I know he can make our He can make our gear for us. Alright. There's actually a fast travel right over here. 
So let's go to that one. Or actually, this one's uh, about equidistance, I guess. One's not really closer than the other. This one actually might be closer. Okay, and we're gonna travel. We can just like fast travel down over to, I forget the name of that guy, but he does like the good armor. He did our Griffin armor. He should be able to make this armor too, I hope. Let's back out of here very slowly. I know the front, like, right part of our ship is not doing very good. You need to be careful. Okay. I think maybe I can swing that. Okay. I started watching Critical Role because um, someone in my Twitch channel told me to. Because <laughs> I wasn't sure. I know Baldur's Gate 3 is coming out um, this week, actually. And I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not. I've never played D&D. &D. I thought that I did. Like, I've seen it a, a tiny... Hello? I've seen the gameplay like a tiny, tiny bit. But I haven't actually watched like an entire game of D&D &D before. So someone in chat told me to start watching Critical Role. And now I'm addicted. <laughs> now I am absolutely addicted to Critical Role. I really want to try Boulder's Gate 3. I think it's going to be awesome. I'm thinking about maybe trying like a noob friendly D&D group. Um, but they were using, Critical Role was using in campaign to the Witcher soundtrack and it was really cool. Um, hearing some of the songs from The Witcher being played while they're playing d and It was very cool. Okay, so we're going to go down to Castle Village. I think this is the right place. It's been a little bit since we've been here. Yeah, this is the right place. And our guy is right here. Fergus, that's his name, Fergus. Help me, I assist you. All right, Fergus, you're going to make some stuff for us. Need some armor. Good, we have everything for the feline boots. Very nice. Very nice. We definitely should have enough money to make everything. So we need dark steel plate for this one. So we need two of these. For the gauntlets, looks like we need hardened timber. I wonder if we can craft that. And some nails. Oh, no, no, we have the nails. Hardened timber. I think we need two of them. Nice. Surprising that we have everything else. I guess being a hoarder comes in handy. 
sometimes. And the feline trousers. Okay, so we made the boots. Made the dress piece. Made the pants. Alright. And then we'll have to go to somebody else to craft to craft our sword. Ooh, this is actually a really nice one. Hard sign intensity. Mm. Chance to freeze. The damage goes up and we can put three in there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and sell him some of the stuff that we've gotten along the way that we just don't need anymore. Definitely not that. Okay, I thought I accidentally sold something I shouldn't have. Um, armor piercing. Yerdin sign, chance to dismember, bonus. Hmm. What a so what a sword. Okay. I don't know if I should keep those or not, or if I should just be using the feline stuff. That is something else that I'm just kind of unsure about. I know some people said that they would swap out their weapons based on what they're fighting so i'm guessing that's why because like if we're fighting a wraith having a sword that does better yerdin sign intensity is obviously better but you could just take a potion as well so i wonder why there's so many different relic swords like it's making me wonder why the game has so many relic swords I guess because you can also like dismantle them for parts too, which is nice. Let's dismantle this ring. Dark iron ore. Okay. So long. Okay, so for now. And we'll head to the guy in Novigrad to make our swords for us. But for now, let's put on our new gear and see how it looks. Ooh. So far, it looks pretty good. Nice. Very snazzy. I like how we can see his arms. That's nice. Looks very nice. Oh. Watch it, old man. Yeah, I like the way this armor looks. It looks very nice. <gasps> Alright, so... We have time to go... Let's see, if we fast travel over, we have time to just go and make the swords real quick. So let's try to do that while we're in the process of switching over entirely to our new cat school gear and this will be the gear that i stick with hopefully throughout the rest of the game um we'll get the upgrades as we can the upgrade upgraded gear as it becomes available for our level but cat school gear is what i'm i'm choosing to stick with throughout the rest of our time here Complaining. 
Finally, someone took pity. Okay. Thank you, Witcher. So, what? There is a sign here for a blacksmith. So, I'm going to wait until he comes. Maybe we can just, like, meditate until morning. Let's wait until, like, 7 a.m. and see if he gets here. Maybe that's that could also be a reason why his sign isn't showing up. So, let me see. Yeah, okay. So, they just have to be present in order for you to have the sign populate. Okay. All right. I'm pretty sure that he can make them for us. Reforged. Like you to craft something for me. Think you can? I think. I'm actually not 100% sure. He can. Okay, we just have a couple missing ingredients. We need silver. Yay, we found the guy that can make them. I knew that someone in Novigrad could. I just couldn't remember exactly who it was. Okay, I think we only needed a couple. I'm going to make an extra one just in case. Um, We also need leather scraps. Okay. So let's go ahead and make the silver sword and then I'll make the steel sword. Nice. All upgraded. And we shouldn't have to repair anything because we're swapping out pretty much all that we have. So long. Okay. So let's put them on and see how they look. Chance to cause bleeding, bonus experience. Okay. Strong one. And then Ard sign intensity, chance to cause bleeding. Okay. Let's see if he can also craft our crossbow for us. Need something sharpened, reforged. Like you to craft something for me. Think you can? But I think that we can't use the craft the crossbow, yeah, until level twenty nine. Wax crafting component. Can we make wax? No. Um, level 29 is kind of far away, but I feel like if I don't, I feel like if I don't do this now, I'm never, I'm not going to remember around level 29. So let's go ahead and craft it. I was going to stop by the stash anyways, because so we have a lot of stuff to put away. Like all of the griffin gear, I would like to keep um, just because it's witcher gear. So any sort of like witcher gear, I feel like we should be holding on to um, and keeping just because. We look fancy. We're so fancy now. Looks nice. Oh, I'm following the wrong marker. Oops. I ran right into that guy. All right, there's another bridge over here. I missed the one bridge that I was going to take over. <laughs> oh my gosh. take a look we're gonna keep the stuff from yen just because even though we're never gonna wear it again it's awful it's it's the worst looking armor i've ever seen um we're gonna keep the feline crossbow these are like our sentimental letters that i've been keeping bonus gold experience for monsters this member 
So we'll go ahead and throw the griffin gear in here as well. Just because. And I don't really know what to do about these blades. I don't think I'm going to keep them. I'll probably end up selling them, honestly. I'll probably just end up selling them. Are there any other sentimental notes that we should keep? Letter to Dandelion. <laughs> I don't think so. I think these are kind of just... Yeah, just kind of there. All right. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me on another adventure in The Witcher 3. Today was a lot of fun. We finally met up with Triss. Um, we have some quest lines that are now open doors for hanging out with Triss now. So I'm very excited about those. I think now that we have our cat school gear, next episode will probably be a lot of like Witcher contracts and kind of cleaning up some areas that we um, kind of just brushed over just to get through the main storyline for a little bit. So I think we're at a good level now to kind of just sit back and start off next adventure in some of our Witcher contracts. Maybe finish up by doing some of the side questing with Triss. Because there was one side quest that I know that was Triss related. Probably also do that one as well because I'm really looking forward to our time um, with Triss for sure. I hope you guys enjoyed today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.